Hey, boo, hey, welcome to or welcome back to your girl's channel. Now, y'all, for today, uh, I'm going to be honest. I don't know if it's a Karen. I don't know if it's a drunk. Hell, I don't know if it's a crackhead. I, I don't know what the hell it is, but we finna get into it. Police received a phone call from a local school stating that a child hadn't been picked up by their mother. He's sitting right here in the front office. When an officer responded, school staff informed him that they had been trying to get the mother to pick up her child for four hours. There's not anybody that we know of. There's not anybody else in the system. Okay. Like I said, the neighbor assisted in there. I wanted to spoke to dispatch. There are, okay, in the past, mm -hmm. like as in like just a couple months ago, there were nannies, like teenagers, like mm -hmm. 17, 18 year olds, who were very consistently babysitting them. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I don't know that it was overnight or any of those kinds yeah. of things, but I do know that there are, there's that relationship. Mm -hmm. I want to introduce you to somebody. This is Officer. Whoop! Hang on, right here. Hey, buddy. This is Officer. Uh, he How are you doing? He's gonna take you to be with Sawyer. Mama's not feeling very good, so he's getting Mama checked out. Okay. Okay. But he's gonna take you to hang out with Sawyer for a little okay. while. Okay. You wanna ride in my car? Oh, that's fancy. No. You, get to ride you don't wanna ride car. in it. No. What do you mean? I like that shirt. Wait. Why do I? Why well, do he's you what? Gonna take you to why Sawyer. do? Yeah, I'm going to take you over to see Sawyer because your mom's not feeling too good, so we had to get her checked out, okay? With no records of alternative contacts to care for the child, officers had no option but to visit the mother. What they discovered there left them shocked. Watch the moment she gets the surprise of a lifetime when cops show up at her doorstep. Hi there! Hey, you okay? Are they, everything's okay. You're okay. Do you have a son named her? Yeah. yeah. Is her looking so surprised for me? <laughs> lady you look crazy <laughs> i ain't been lying she look crazy like what you want sis what is it go on and tell us go on it go on and tell a girl do you have a son named i do okay is someone supposed to pick him up from school today Okay, who's supposed to pick she him up? She doesn't school? know time right now. Okay. She doesn't know time. Okay. Do you know what time it is? Yeah. So who's supposed to pick your kid up? Are you serious? That's yeah. serious. It's it's the other child talking for her. Who who's that baby talking for her? What? So this must happen often. The baby talking for you, telling you. Tell an officer you don't know what time it is. This baby, no, you you lost in the sauce right now. This is crazy. Mamas, we got to do better. They're calling us. Okay. How much have you had a drink today? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Okay, even though I can smell it on you. Is there another adult here in this house? She look a nasty, sloppy mess, okay? Your shirt is grossing me out. Your shirt is gross, lady, for one. Like like somebody threw up on you. Like, what? what's happening? If you ain't been drinking, the drink been drinking you, okay? Because one way or another, y'all is one. This is embarrassing for her kids, okay? Her kids gonna have to live with this being out here for the rest of their lives. Ma'am, I wouldn't be asking these questions if I was kidding. It seems she still doesn't understand the severity of the situation as she lies to the officer about drinking. No. Yes, I have. And no. Oh, no, 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 you're not getting the car until we do some field sobriety tests, okay? Things then escalate when she attempts to get in the car while under the influence to make up for her mistake. All right. Stop. 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 You're intoxicated, you're in control of the child, there's nobody else no, here. No, okay, no, stop. No, no. Stop, sit down. Just sit down in the chair. Sit down in the chair. Sit down in the chair. Give me your hand. Give me your other hand now. Yeah. Don't pull away from me. You're in a lot of trouble. Stop. What makes this situation even worse is the fact that this is not the first time officers have had to deal with her about this. And this is the second time I've dealt with you in this condition. How dare you? I've got a five-year-old kid crying. 
Okay, now I see. He, they fed up with your crazy girl. You drunk. They fed up with your drunk ass. Enough is enough. I'll be mad too, okay? I got to see you with these kids. You got one at home that you probably ain't feeding. You got one at school that you refuse to pick up. Take her ass to jail. Where the daddy at? Where they daddy at? I stand with the officer at this point, okay? If I done had to deal with your ass a few times and you just gonna keep doing this, yep. Yeah, get your big ass in these handcuffs and let's go. I'm not a big care of yourself. That's embarrassing. Yeah. Are you are you serious? That's the question. Are you serious? Have a seat. Yes, you're gonna have a seat. We're not gonna play these games. Do you have family members nearby? No. Okay. Okay, well DHS is on the way out here. Okay. They're gonna talk to you briefly. Okay, and then uh, likely you're probably gonna go to jail for child neglect me today because uh, your current condition uh you're intoxicated you about to lose your kids and go to jail all in the same day is it worth it becky is it worth it and you going to jail with no shoes on not. okay that you can say that all you want but i am not intoxicated my car reeks of alcohol and you're inside my car. Oh, absolutely not. Not your boy. Get me out of the city. You. No, you tried to get in your car earlier and drive off and that's not a, no, we can't do that. And then instead what? of listening to me, you tried to get away from me and that's not okay. No, you're being very offensive. My child was in school a lot Later. No, I'm not gonna blow. Not gonna blow now. Imagine. No. Despite previously requesting a breathalyzer to prove her innocence, she now refuses to do the test. You don't okay. see? I thought you were intoxicated. This will show if you're intoxicated. No. What you guys think you're doing? You know what? The more I look at this, I, I I don't care who feels some type of way about what I'm about to say right now. But if this was a black woman, her ass would be concrete face on the ground already. OK, just taken off to jail without the breathalyzer, without all this conversation, without DHS, none of that. OK, her ass will be hauled off with her black ass. That's, I just want to say that. I just want to say that it would be different if this was a black woman. Why well, they being a little too patient with her, if you ask me. Taking you to jail. Yeah. That's what we're doing. Are you kidding me? I'm dead kidding. Or, I, I, he was at school 11 minutes later. 11 minutes. What's wrong with you, baby? You didn't even, you didn't even know what time it was. I do know what time it was. 11 minutes. You had to go look at the clock to tell me what time it was. It's at this moment her life turns upside down when a children's caseworker arrives and she confesses to drinking an entire bottle of vodka. I don't know how to describe it. Wired up. I don't know. I just... am wired up. I'm mad. Yeah? What are you mad at? I'm mad at this whole situation. I did I can't have them support. Support my She did say I own it. Okay, you get you get a little respect for that. You owning your stuff. But what kind of help or treatment have you tried to get? Like, girl, you got kids. Whew. But I know it ain't easy to get rid of addictions. I know it ain't easy. So it's easy to just say, oh, stop drinking. Oh, stop doing this. Stop doing no. It ain't that easy. I get that. Like. It was well, they didn't let him walk because that's they don't. He doesn't usually walk. Otherwise, they would have let him walk. You, you think your kids want to live without you? That's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to get you help and get them in a safe place for the time being. Okay? We don't want to take your kids. All right? That's the last thing we want to do. 
You're their mother. They know you. They love you. You love so, them, right? So the school called. Yes. This is what happened. Yeah. This is what's happening. That's because you didn't make very good decisions today. Let's be honest. They didn't put you in this condition and tell you to do what you did. Oh, my God. Yeah. Middle name for okay. Dad. The mother was taken to a local jail while her children were placed with a trustworthy neighbor. She faced charges of neglect and was sentenced to two years of probation. Okay, yeah, sure, give her probation, but that ain't gonna stop her from drinking. <laughs> Y'all gonna be right back at this house again. And that is so saddening for her kids. But what I really wanna ask is, how does one become an alcoholic? Because that ish is nasty. That junk is disgusting gross okay i can't even enjoy myself every time i drink i feel like i'm sick okay even if it's just a little bit one shot glass of wine anything that i drink it makes me not feel good y'all would think that i was allergic to it now that i think about it but i just told my husband the other day baby i think i want to quit drinking i really just hate it he low-key was not happy about it because he gonna be alone and feel lonely and oh well i don't care they i don't like it it's disgusting <laughs> So how do one become an alcoholic? Like, ugh, that stuff is gross. But I do understand that things happen and we can't control everything. But we have to at least attempt to get some kind of help. Okay? And I'm glad that they did put her kids with a neighbor. Still don't think that they would do that for a black woman. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But they put her kids with a neighbor. There's another giving them a chance to find family. Whatever, you know what I'm saying? They didn't go into the system. So we know that much. That's nice. I don't mean to make this a race thing, y'all, but I do feel like this woman was totally privileged in this video with the way she was acting a fool and talking and cutting up good. All a black woman got to do is open her mouth and raise her voice one time, one time. And they threaten, threaten, okay? They uh, threaten, threaten, and they rough with us. But you know what I'm saying? I, let, let me, let me not, let me take my brain off of that. Let me get off of the colors. <laughs> Overall, she had this coming. She had this coming. I feel sorry to her kids. And she need to get some help. Y'all need to find her baby daddy. And y'all need to find her some darn help. Okay? That's all there is to it. But don't waste your time doing it until she ready to get some help. Because you can't force nobody to do nothing they don't want to do. If a person ain't ready to get help, don't waste your time trying to give it to them. OK, because you're just going to fall down in a pit with them trying to get somebody help. No, nope. if they want to be a crackhead, go let them be a crackhead until they crackheaded days is over. Some people got to hit rock bottom. OK, some people got to hit under the rock and the bottom to finally want help. So that's what I feel about it, y'all. All we can really do is pray for her and her family at this point. If you like this video, give your girl a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And I hope to catch you in the next one, boo.